Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes and looking into the Word of God and starting your day off well. We've been talking in verses 1 through 6 for in 1 Peter chapter 3 of the obligations of wives, but now in verse 7 he turns to the husbands, and Peter says, Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers be not hindered. He says some really powerful things here that I think are really important. Number one, he says, Husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way. There are people who say that the sexes can't understand each other because we're different. The fact is we're far more alike than we are different, but even in our differences we can come to understand and appreciate one another. Take the time to understand your wife. You can please do it. Secondly, he says, show honor to the woman as to the weaker vessel. doesn't mean that she's weaker biologically. It doesn't mean that she's weaker mentally or emotionally. But physically, she is actually weaker than the average man. And he said, that shouldn't cause you to force your way on her. It should instead lead you to protect her. He says, showing honor to her, since they are heirs together with you of the grace of life. There is an equality on a spiritual standing between your wife and yourself, and you are not superior to her. And then third, so that your prayers be not hindered. What does that mean? It means that if I misuse my authority, if I misuse my physical strength and force my wife to do something, or if I use my strength to abuse my wife in one way or another, God quits listening to my prayers. Guys, you want to have a great prayer life? Treat your wife well. Thanks for watching.